Hey guys, this is Melissa Zad for Into Boxing and I am delighted to be joined by none other than Khaled Ali. Khaled, how are you doing? I'm good, Melissa. How are you? I'm not too bad. I just want to start off by saying that before the interview started, Khaled asked me what questions I'm going to ask him and I refused to tell him. So, I'm not going to try and give you any nasty surprises throughout the interview. How does that sound? No, it's good, you know. It's good, but I always like to know I did a public speaking course once and um, they teach you these things, you know. Always ask before you uh, speak what sort of questions um, the cameraman's going to ask you, or camera woman, sorry, going to ask you. Yeah, so just so your brain mentally prepared. But even if you ask me questions random, I'm still prepared. <laughs> I like the confidence. So tell me about this public speaking course. Why did you take it? Um, my sponsor runs it. So my sponsor, one of my sponsors is uh, Justin James. He's a top top public speaker in the country and I think in the world actually if I try to go back to it yeah one of the best in the world so um, I did one of his courses for the past three days you learn some amazing things in public speaking yeah you learn about yourself how to speak properly um, how to come across um, on camera properly you know just it's, it's the little things that make a difference um, in speaking do you feel like it's given you confidence, obviously, doing this aspect of being a boxer, you know, all the media days, etc.? Do you think it's given you the confidence to kind of be able to sit in front of a camera and talk to new people all the time? Yeah, 100%. Um, much as being a boxer is my job, it's also like my second job, you know. Um, when, when I do climb up the rankings, uh, be even more cameras, and you have to, you, you have to know how to um, educate yourself around people you know if you don't if you can't communicate properly it becomes you know a bit of a problem so with me I feel like I know how to communicate with people um, I know how to come across well I know what to say and uh, yes always good and you know how to box yeah I know how to box it's the most important you know just imagine that <laughs> I wouldn't be if I didn't know that <laughs> So tell me a little, bit, a little bit about yourself, Khaled, because embarrassingly, I don't know too much. So what did, uh, what got you interested in boxing? So um, my dad um, put me into boxing, uh, put me into boxing. And really from there, it's just onwards and upwards. So that is very rude. I apologize. I was popular, popular guy. <laughs> I wish I was popular. But um, he put me into boxing and um, it's just onwards and upwards from there. Had an amateur career. Amateur career was okay. Um, How many amateur fights did you have? About 45. I couldn't tell you the correct number. I, I, I've not got my card. I think I had about 45 or 30, and I lost about five. So it's, it, it's okay, decent, but um, I'm looking to make my mark in the, in the pro game. Um, what, um, how many pro fights have you had? So I've only had two pro fights. Uh, my first pro fight, everyone says it was amazing because the atmosphere like, was electric. Um, the second fight was a very good boxing boxing display. And the third one I'm making, so I'm trying to mix the two together, electric and a good boxing uh, you know, display. I'm trying to make it a good fight. It's really impressive actually to um, have your third professional fight on a platform like this. What does that mean to you? Um, it means a lot to me, you know. Um, Hamza's, Hamza Shiraz and Hamza Shiraz's family and father, uh, they put in a good word for me, which is the reason why I'm here now, because they put in a good word for me. And um, yes, I have been displaying my abilities, but you know, they also, they also gave me the chance to showcase my skills. So for me, it's a great honor to be in the undercard. I feel like Hamza is a great, uh, great ambassador for the sport as well. You know, he's only 22, he's in America, living the dream. So um, he's daring to be great. Uh, I think he will be great. And I think come Saturday night, he's going to do very well. What does, it, um, what does it say to you to have the support and the backing of someone like Hamza Shiraz, who's kind of already gone through the paces that you have? I mean, I have the support, as in, as in terms of they believe in me. Uh, they believe in me, that's, so that's very nice. Um, the other support I have is also my sponsors. They're also the main ones, you know. Karama Fragrances, Justin James, my public speaking teacher and you kept like official. They believe in me. So if it wasn't for them three, I wouldn't be able to put on such a good performance I'm gonna put on Saturday night. What kind of performance can we expect to see from you come Saturday? A dominant performance. Uh, Des Newton is a very experienced man. He's 34, he knows his way around the ring. 
Um, so I just have to go in there, be relaxed, be chilled out, and just do my thing naturally, you know, don't try to force nothing, use my jab, and whatever will be, will be, you know. I like that mentality. Callie, we're really looking forward to seeing you on Saturday night. Thank you, Melissa.